This is National Dog Bite Prevention Week, and State Farm Insurance has released disturbing new statistics on a dramatic increase in dog bites in 2020, especially in California. As News 8's Alicia Summers reports, the lockdowns could be to blame. We thought the lockdowns were just affecting us people, but according to insurance claims last year, it's clear many pets were affected too. And experts worry with more people going back to work, dog bites could increase, and here's why. Some dogs can feel our anxiety caused by the lockdowns. When their people are stressed out at home, dogs can act out with barking, destructive behavior, and biting. Just in 2020, California was the number one uh, dog biting statistics throughout all of State Farm. We had over 400 dog bites and $26 million worth of claims paid out. The highest number of bites was recorded in March at the start of the lockdown. Anxiety is a little bit up, having to be home all the time, you know, between kids, work, Zoom, that whole quarantine life. And the dogs are feeling that same anxiety and effect as well. Also, many people adopted dogs during the pandemic, and those new pets may experience anxiety as their humans leave to go back to work and other activities. Slowly wean yourself away. Don't just be gone one day, you know, after you've been home 24 7 for a year. Furthermore, with dog parks closed during much of the lockdown, puppies were not able to develop social skills. A lot of times dog bites that we see as well happen with it starts with the dog biting another dog. The owner tries to get involved to help the situation and they end up getting bit in the interim. Experts fear another change could lead to more dog bites again. So here's a chart from the San Diego Humane Society on how to prevent getting bit. When meeting a new dog, watch, ask, invite, then touch. And don't pet a dog that is sleeping, tied up, scared, behind something, eating, or chewing a toy. Alicia Summers, News 8.